Trees give us so much. The least we can do is learn their names. In this episode, let's learn how to identify a mango tree. When a mango tree is full of fruits, there's little difficulty in identifying the tree. But even when it's not in fruit, there are plenty of clues the tree gives us to help identify it. For starters, the leaf. The mango tree has long, slender, glossy leaves with wavy margins. The apex of the leaf tapers towards a blunt point. New leaves sprout in shades of pink, red and purple and they are limp and look lifeless and flaccid. This is one of the strategies trees use to prevent its new leaves from being eaten by cattle and other grazing animals because cattle usually keep away from things that are red. These limp red leaves gradually turn firm and green with time. In fact, you can try this. Next time you eat a mango, plant its seed instead of throwing it away and you'll soon see these glossy, lovely mango leaves sprouting right before your eyes. Transplant it to a bigger area and watch it grow. Being a native tree, mango is a good tree to plant in India. In India, the leaves of the mango are often used as thorns to decorate thresholds and doors during festivals and weddings. The auspicious kalash that is found in nearly every Hindu function is topped with the coconut and mango leaves. And you will also find mango leaves used in other forms of decoration. It is said that having a toran of mango leaves at the door is an effective way of keeping out dust as the leaves act as dust collectors. It is also said that the leaves of the mango have antimicrobial properties. The bark of the mango is brown, can be rough with shallow cracks. Sometimes it can be a smallish tree, but where conditions are right, the mango can be a massive tree with a large dome-shaped canopy. In his book, The Trees of Delhi, Pradeep Krishan says one of the largest mango trees of India is in Chandigarh. The tree is said to have a massive trunk measuring more than 9 meters in circumference and produces about 10,000 to 25,000 mangoes in a year. I have been to Chandigarh but could not locate this mango tree. If you happen to live there or visit and spot this massive mango tree, do share the pictures. I'd love to know more about it. Mango wood is used to make furniture and amongst Hindus, its wood is included in both the sacrificial fire as also the funeral pyre. For a tree with a fruit so famous and visible, its flowers are rather lacklustre and inconspicuous. They are small and whitish yellow and appear in clusters. These flowers are pollinated by small insects like flies and beetles. If you would like to learn to identify the common trees you see around you and learn about trees through stories, culture and literature, you will find some episodes you may enjoy on this channel. Take a look around, share this with friends and subscribe for more.